Hi folks, uh, so this video is going to be uh, in a slightly different spirit to a lot of the other videos on this channel. This, I guess, is a reaction video of sorts. Um, many of you have probably already heard the news, even though it dropped only a couple of hours ago, if that, uh, that Valve have released a new version of something called Steam Play, which now allows Linux users to play Windows games on Linux through a forked version of Wine and DXVK called Proton, which is a very remarkable piece of news. It's something that I've somewhat talked about on this channel before, and I've talked about it on live streams before. In fact, we've even had this sort of uh, tongue-in-cheek uh, idea that it might be a bit of a conspiracy theory that Valve have secretly been funding projects like DXVK and um, in an attempt to actually bring a whole swathe of games over to, to Linux and, uh, by extension, SteamOS. I've um, got to admit, when I was peddling that conspiracy theory, I had no idea that it would actually come to fruition. Uh, very similar to actually to the conspiracy theory that I came up with that Microsoft were developing a Linux distribution that also turned out to be true, which is, uh, well, a little bit more accurate than I thought I was, to be honest. I didn't have too much faith in those kind of predictions. Like I said, they were a bit tongue-in-cheek at the time, but boy, times are a-changing. So, in today's video, I'm going to be trying out one of my all-time favourite games, uh, also one of the most frustrating games I've ever played, Hitman 2 Silent Assassin, just to see if this is available. Now, just a little bit of information so far. Like I say, this news has just dropped, so um, there are probably going to be stuff that, I, uh, that I'm missing out on uh, in this video. This is, is really just um, an initial first impressions of the news and uh, just trying out this new Steam Play Proton uh, piece of uh, software. But, um, but this is probably like the biggest news that we've seen in the Linux community now since, since I think, Valve uh, were, uh, announced that they were going to bring Steam to the platform, which is, which is quite, quite remarkable. So uh, this, is, this is a big day. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to just play the first level of Hitman 2 because, um, well, first of all, it's fun, but also just to see what we can expect. Now, I've actually tried two games. I've tried this game and I've tried Hitman Contracts. And Hitman Contracts, believe it or not, actually works better. And actually, these two games are notoriously, this um, Hitman 2 and Hitman Contracts are actually notoriously uh, bad for, uh, or, or known for being notoriously bad for actually being able to run on Windows. The fact that they seem to be running on Linux quite smoothly is even more staggering, if you ask me. The fact that, I mean, it, it, it sort of, it, it has been known for quite some time that Hitman 2 plays better on Wine than it does on uh, modern versions of Windows because it is an old game and Wine is actually quite good at playing uh, older games. But now it's all official and it's wrapped up in a nice wine wrapper. The Hitman 2, the Steam version, of basically now just plays better on Linux than it does on Windows, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, what am I talking about? This is a, uh, a reaction video. So let's react to what Steam are up to. So anyway, like I say, uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the game, you're a Hitman and you kill people for money. I think that's pretty much the gist of it. Buongiorno, figlio mio. Come va? Padre. I'm okay, but I must speak with you. Taji, figlio mio, be quiet, my son. We have a saying here in Sicily. Non saccio, non vede, non cero, e se cera non mia. So, if you want to open your hearts, the only safe place is a confession in church. Get me there, don't. Okay. So this part of the uh, the initial mission, this is the prologue mission, uh, we are 47, we are in uh, Sicily, we've decided to run away from a life of crime and, um, and find peace working as a gardener in a Sicilian monastery. Uh, so by the way, a little bit about how I got this running. It's quite easy to get up and running. Um, I'm running Manjaro, so I do believe that Arch-based distributions um, have very little preparation to do other than uh, going into the settings in Steam and activating the, the beta mode for Steam, Steam Beta, and then you've got to go into the settings of Steam Beta to just activate this new Steam Play and yeah, install and run like you would any other game. It's a piece of cake, so you don't have to fiddle around with any compiling or downloading or 
git or anything like that. It's very simple. If you're on Arch and you've got all your stuff up to date, uh, just go into the settings and um, of, of Steam Beta and just select it in the settings menu. And um, yeah, pretty good. Oh, that door is locked. Okay. Padre, I have sinned. Avanti, figlio mio. Continue, my son. I have done some terrible things in my life. I... I have killed many people for money, out of ignorance, out of evil, out of hatred. Figlio mio, I know you well. You are also a good person. I've seen you taking care of the garden. I know of the large amount of money you donated to the church. Your soul is on the right path. But Father, I do not belong. I'm not of this world. So why should God forgive me? Do not worry, my son. When your time comes, he will have a place for you as well. Just keep God in your heart. Now I must leave. Stay a while and pray. Lead me, O Heavenly Father, in the path of right. I walk alone and stumble in the dark. Show me the light and I'll go there. Let me find peace in my own heart and save me from my enemies. Okay. Benvenuti, ragazzi. Purtroppo la chiesa è chiusa. Venite domani, per favore. Benvenuto, vecchio amico mio. Non è questo il momento di darci per appuntamento. Favore, aiutatemi, lasciatemi, lasciatemi, per favore. Lasciatemi. Ah, oh, lasciatemi. Porca troia. Taci. Stai giù, giù, giù. Eh. I mean, all the cutscenes seem to be working out all right. Okay, so let's rescue Father Vittorio, if I can just find my way out of this confessional booth. Okay, I'm going to put running on. Okay, oh no. Benvenuto in Sicilia, Bersano. We hope you enjoy the famous Italian hospitality on our beautiful island. However, there will be a slight charge for your stay. You will prepare a cash transfer of $500,000. No later than midnight the day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, we'll be entertaining your host, Padre Vittorio. He very much enjoys fishing. We are making sure he is happy that way until payment has been effected. Lei sentirà de noi, Giuseppe Giuliano. Five hundred thousand mm. dollars. Can't pay that. I'm going to the garden shed. Time to dig up the past. Okay. We're gonna uh, we're gonna get uh, get our priest back. Okay, good. So it's running. Agency, this is forty-seven. At like sixty Attach frames per second. This is a very smooth. We need to confirm your ID play. registration, please. My number is B R O thirty-eight eighty-six. Put Diana on; she'll recognize my voice. Forty-seven. This is Diana speaking. It's good to hear your voice again. We all thought you were dead. You'll be pleased to know your skills are in great demand these days. You're almost a legend amongst our customers. Diana, I'm not looking for work. I need some information on a Giuseppe Giuliano from Palermo, Sicily. What have you got? Let me see, Giuseppe. Oh yes, I've got a fat file. Giuseppe Giuliano, Aca Don Aguilo Giuliano, capo of one of the largest, oldest and most influential mafia organizations in Sicily. I need detailed satellite surveillance on his residence and info on security and access routes. And keep an eye out for a priest. He's a friend of mine and was kidnapped. A friend? Have you gone soft, 47? Besides, we don't believe in handing over information for free. How do you think you're going to pay us back? 
I've heard that you're extremely wealthy. Yes, I know. I've heard that rumor too. It's not true though, but I'm sure you can suggest an arrangement. I'll pull a few strings and see what I can do. Actually, I do have a special request for you to perform a contract assignment. Should be a simple operation. A mission? Exactly. If you accept, I might be able to give you the requested information very soon. What do you say, 47? Still sharp enough to handle a job these days? Well, there we go. Right. It's let's, been a while, uh, 47, so let's just run through the basic routines together. Agency just wants to make sure you're not too rusty. Nah, let's get straight into the mission. We've got work to do. So we activate the laptop. There we go. 47, so, this is Diana go. from Agency. We're all happy you're back doing business for us. This mutual arrangement we made to rescue your friend and mentor, Father Vittorio, means you will have to take care of a number of Mafia members residing at the Villa Borghese, where he is kept hostage in the basement. Prime target is Don Giuliani. Security is not exactly lax. Plenty of guards roaming the mansion compound. However, don't expect to free Vittorio just like that. The Don is running a tight ship, and if alarmed, he will probably kill the hostage and escape. They're used to people coming to pay respect, ransoms or bribes, but they are alerted by unusual activities. Check out the map we have of the grounds, Buena Fortuna 47. Okay, now I'm just trying to work out, should I use like the speedrun strategies for this uh, this level? It might be a bit confusing for those of you that aren't familiar with the game if I, uh, if I start using speedrunning strats, but um, I could use some sort of mix between the two, couldn't I? One of the one of the reasons I actually quite like Hitman and the controls aren't too bad. This is actually not not too bad as a shooter. Uh, is um, is that you can auto run. You can't do that in all the Hitman games. Right, I've got to work out the controls again. So that's crouch. What is sneak? Space is sneak. So there's a dude that's going to come out. Ah, okay, good. Uh, I suppose we might as well use the old anesthetic. There's he, there he is. Okay. So the thing about this game that doesn't apply to most of the other Hitman games, I think it also applies to contracts, is that when you knock someone out in this game, you then are effectively on a kind of a timer. Um... I've only given him four bottles, actually. He may wake up. So I'll have to see how this one goes. Oh. Now, I am going to be using a little bug which allows me to move quickly about this game. So I will holster. Good. Which is, I press shift down. And I tap w. Uh, w. So I sort of glide around. So this basically gives me the same level of discretion that walking would give, but I actually get to move significantly faster. Because in Hitman, oh, I'm also going to save. And I'm playing this on basically normal, but normal, they don't have an easy mode, so this is effectively easy. But this is a very difficult game. It's uh, The AI is rather buggy, and uh, all manner of things can sort of end up happening. It's, uh, it was a very advanced game for the time that it was brought out. It's available on... Um, there's no weapons here. Available on PS2 as well. I think I finished it on both platforms, but unsurprisingly it's more suited to a PC type of setup. Because it is, it's a complex game. But it does actually play, if I remember correct... Oh. Okay. So now we're just waiting for the boss. And the boss appears to be... Well, he's outside playing golf, isn't he? Oh, he's coming in. That whole, ooh, I've got to think, what's the best way of doing this now? Do the fibre wire, we could shoot him...
Uh, Alright, we'll strangle him. We'll save it because any number of things can go wrong. There he is. Goodbye. I'm going to take all his stuff, including the nice revolver. Thank you. Well, I can actually escape this way. But I'm just going to leave the body there. And I'm going to leave the body there because I'm going to make a very fast getaway, but... There are some keys in that tree. There we go. Nice little secret there. So those are keys to a car. So we can pick those up. I'll be very I'll be very happy if I can actually do this mission without having to reload. So I'm gonna slide along here. So it's just holding down shift and pressing W. Ouch. At least it means that I don't have to exit the way that Diana, I came in. He's not in the basement. They must have moved him. 47, this is Diana from Agency. You're probably right. Recent satellite footage suggests a priest being dragged along by four bearded Russian-looking types in uniform. Okay, escaping car. I don't know, he like sort of woke up. <laughs> he woke up as we were as we were escaping. Oh. Hey, but we did it. We got Silent Assassin. We got one close encounter. And what was that close encounter? A clo so a close encounter, I believe, is when someone points a gun at you. So it could have been when I strangled the Don, because I, I sort of slid up behind him and then strangled him. So he probably sort of um, armed himself, as it were, before I did that. Or, or it could have something to do with the uh, the uh, undressed mafia guard running around. Not entirely too sure on that one, but just after playing this first mission, we've had no crashes. It's had um, a pretty much a solid 60 frames per second. But overall, that is fantastic. That is like absolutely perfect. So um, let me guys know if you want to see more of this game. Um, I may play it on a stream. I may just do a couple of videos uh, throwing it up. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. But overall, um, yeah, like it, it, it. This is the. This is very much still in beta. They like, like they literally dropped this maybe an hour or two ago. Um, but it's 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 a proper beta. Like it's it's designed to be you know properly tested. It's it's you know designed for feedback. It seems and. It looks incredibly promising. It looks incredibly promising. I don't have a huge library of Windows games that I really want to play. I think I can play everything that I want to currently in Wine, but the fact that this just makes it 10 times easier uh, is absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely thrilled about this. So uh, I suspect there's going to be significantly more news to come. Uh, Steam, uh, Valve rather, have actually already started releasing a few little updates. For example, I think they released an update saying, uh, explaining Proton a little bit, which is a key piece of software in making all of this work. But um, so it's, it's, I, I may very well do a follow-up video uh, talking about this in a more expanded capacity once the news sort of rounds off, you know, sort of um, is out about uh, about more information but just from what we've managed to gleam in in the you know in in the couple of hours since launch it's looking incredibly promising um but yeah it does look like valve were putting money towards uh dxvk and and this kind of development and they decided to sort of unveil it all at once in a rather surprising but very welcome turn of events so uh that's pretty cool that's very cool that's christmas come early so anyway guys let me know your thoughts slash excitement down in the comment section below and um until next time i've been chris Ware, and you've been awesome and valve have been incredibly awesome here as well as the folks at wine and dxv a lot of awesomeness to go around isn't there anyway guys i'll see you soon